Hello. So I uh, wanted to go around the garden again and show you guys how everything's going. It's uh, San Antonio. It's been over 100 today, so yay. Happy July. Um, we had a, uh, last time we were out here, we had the um, ladybugs released and I thought that those were doing great and I'm sure that they did do great, but uh, well, the aphids decided to take charge afterwards and uh, we had to neem them. Uh, lots of, lots and lots of aphids. So uh, I'm hoping that uh, the neem oil will do its trick. I'm sure I'm gonna have to come and hit it again here real soon, but uh, you can come and see my massive pepper garden that kind of looks sad, but kind of looks pretty awesome. So let me rotate it for everyone. So that squash plant probably needs to be ripped out because I don't think it's actually going to get any uh, zucchini on it. But uh... hey, Molly, how's it going? <laughs> By banana peppers, my Tunisian peppers. I actually are finally getting flowers on it, which is the first time uh, this year. We'll see if the aphids uh, destruction holds off until they can actually get a pepper because I don't even know what they're, they're supposed to be re big red and long. My uh, uh, Sugar Rush cream still have plenty and plenty of pods on it. Um, I pulled over, I think 65 fish pepper pods off of my fish pepper plant um, a couple days ago just because I, they're the closest to the bell, which is getting just decimated by uh, the aphids. So uh, the, all, the, all the fish peppers are pretty much good when they're green. So I uh, went ahead and took them, uh, de-seeded them all today. I have lots and lots of seeds because it's a really pretty plant. So hoping that, uh, you know, I can grow more of those next year. My poor bell pepper, I mean, you can see all the aphid. Like, I think most of these are dead, but still. There's still plenty of live ones on here. How you can see. Oh yeah, look, it's like a little jungle. Still getting destroyed. I moved my uh, watermelons over here, so if they want to actually grow, I've got them growing in a watermelon husk, which is fun. But if they do want to grow, they can grow up the side here. My tomatoes, which this uh, shade cloth is over six feet tall, so you can you can see these tomatoes. They've Grown up, fallen over, grown up again, fallen over. I'm still getting new flowers. Um, and some, there's a tomato out there. So, I don't know, we'll see. We'll, I mean, if anything, it's a really big giant bush that I can get these awesome guys growing on. But I do have some tomatoes. Dark Galaxy here and the heirloom over here. I don't have any more heirloom tomatoes as far as I know. I mean, there might be some in that jungle up there. I have no idea. And then reapers. I pulled off a ripe reaper today. I've got it drying because, you know, reaper powder is tasty, especially in Olivia's pickles. I've got my first uh, seven pot here, which looks fun. And this freaking star scream has got so many pods on it still picked probably 16 of those and it looks like I still missed some. Still some in there. There's another one. This is the bushiest pepper plant. This fig tree of Olivia's is overgrowing its area. It's very tall. I'm gonna have to do something with it. But right now it's like a haven for lizards. Look at that. Lizard right there. Like what the heck, dude? Stop looking at me. I still have some ladybugs doing their thing. So hopefully they'll Oh, oh look at that. Right next to the ladybug. Stink bug. I have to get rid of that. Not a fan of those. But oh, look at all these. Chocolate habaneros. I never actually had a chocolate habanero. I'm looking forward to seeing what this whole floral taste that no one likes is. But oh, it looks like I'll have plenty to work with. Let 
We got the, uh, it's supposed to be seven pot, or bubblegum seven pot red. And I mean, so far I'm getting a lot of purplish looking ones. I'm not sure if it's sun or what, but I mean, these have some mean looking pots for bubblegum. Chakabutla, he's got a little friend. You can work on the bigger plants there, Ladybug. And I forgot about this. This is also bubblegum, seven pot red. And it has these weird acorn looking ones. And I popped one off today and cut it open. It's really good. It's got a little kick of I don't know, it's almost like a fruit, like almost like a grape or something. But the rest of them look how big that is. Got the sun in the background, sorry guys. These are all the King Star, Lemon Starburst, Scarlet Rose, Peach Starkist, and Star Racha Hornet but there are so many pods on here. And check this out. I've got a couple uh, doing their thing. I've got this one, it's enormous. I don't know if it's supposed to be this big king, but look how big this thing is. It's huge. It doesn't have the, the UFO shape, but it's still crazy. And then, have some more lemon starburst that are doing their thing. I've got the chocolate bootlas. They're also very big pods. And there's more back there. But I'm not a good cameraman. Sorry guys. Pretty big pods. I don't have any of the uh, apocalypse scorpion, even though it's a giant plant. I do have some of the uh, Trinidad Maruga scorpion. There he goes. Is it evil looking? But really, I just kind of wanted to show you. So, plenty for the aphids to eat, <laughs> but hopefully uh, they'll all die. <laughs> Alright, see you guys.